Okay, so, um, I, this is not the first video I've ever seen that discusses intersexuality or the, um, the actual appearance of people who have either one testy and one ovary or testes that are not descended or some weird mix of sexual organs. And I think, um, the reason why I don't see why intersexuality is such like, a big deal, like why someone would lie to their child about being intersex or why there's this big push for um, surgeries during intimacy so the child never has to bear having a strange shaped penis or weird looking vagina. Uh, I just don't understand at the end of the day why, they, why people as a general society are so concerned, deeply concerned about organs. Nobody freaks out about someone else's gallbladder. No, no parent has their, ch their child's, you know, appendix removed and then has to lie to them about it because the burden of having a faulty appendix would just be too much to bear. Like, nobody does that. And that's just the weirdest thing about it. And I think the biggest thing, like, with, you know, the reason there's two genders and the reason we're so focused on that is because evolution has favored people who are um, sexually reproductive. Obviously, that's the case. That's why two genders exist. Just is one of the better ways to share genetic information for posterity. That being said, that's not the only reason humans exist. A lot of people don't have children by choice. Fertility is not a marker of whether you are a right person or not, or an okay person. So I just think that it's so weird that, you know, some people truly are. Like, they their first reaction when they hear intersexuality is like, oh my god, that's not right. How crazy and messed up. Um, and I think that's really, really sad. I remember I read this one book um, about a boy who was raised as a little girl uh, because his penis got burnt off during a, fall, uh, a botched circumcision. And so they freaked out and raised him as a, bo as, a, as a girl instead of a boy. You were just a boy without a penis. Like, you still have all the sexual organs, your DNA, your natural inclinations, or you are going to probably have a gender that will now be trans because we're telling you that you're a girl and you're not because we're so obsessed with penises. And, you know, it, it just boggles my mind. Why are you obsessed with organs? I don't understand. I don't know. I'm done. Sorry. <laughs>